Let's give her a hand. Yes! Yeah. 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 Way to go, Maria! Yeah. Uh, What's important here is not just the money, it's what you become as a person, because this industry offers the absolute best speedy training in the world, personal training, personal development training in the world. Mm -hmm. So you become a lot more than whatever you are outside the business because of what you gain out of this. So a lot of people say, well, I can't do public speaking. Well, she couldn't do public speaking, and I couldn't do public speaking. 24 years ago, I decided that I was going to give myself a chance because I knew my restaurant business just wasn't going to take me anywhere. Well, we, we know the stats. The government tells you this. If you have a job, who's got a job? A lot of people, right? But that's the only thing you do. Your government tells you, not me telling you, Staff Canada will tell you, you'll end up dead or dead broke at age 65. You rely on pension. I mean, that's your government tells you that. They're, that's the reason why the government gives you a tax break when you start a home-based business, because they know they cannot take care of you. Yes. That's just not Canada. That's around the world. So you have a decision to make right now. So, well, how am I going to do something other than my POB? And if the decision is yes, great. If you're not convinced, you know Walmart on here? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you go there, do tomorrow, and see who's at the door checking back. Yeah. So, you know, it's not really a funny story because that really ticks me off. You know what? Because those people who are at the door checking back at 65, 70, 75, or 80, never promise one thing. You work hard for 40 years, for 40 hours a week, and you have the golden years. That's true. Right? The golden. That's what they were told to, that they're going to have. Yeah. Now, instead, not, not a, there's no golden years. They're raising the retirement age right now. We know the government is broke. So, and some of the younger guys here, there will be no pension by the time you get there. So, don't even rely on that. So, that's what's going on here. So, we're not here to tell you this is the only vehicle. No, we just happen to believe it's the best vehicle. Mm -hmm. And when it's not just us telling you this, the fact that we're Canadian, that's nice, right? Yes. You can't deny that. Yes. Woo! Yes. 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 You can't deny that. But beyond what we're saying, the media has done the research for you. When you show up on a cover of American Business Journal where Warren Buffett is at, and we're very fortunate and we're very humbled by it. And on American publications, of course, they don't want to admit that it's a Canadian company, so I love how they put it, North American designer. <laughs> it's not their designer, North American designer. In any event, here's where we're at. And if you don't know me, Google me, you'll find out. You know, I've been written about all the world. I'm very straightforward, very, because I was 20 years old when I, somebody came to me and said, look at this opportunity. That was 25 years ago. I made my first million at age 25, I'm 45 now, so my life has been pretty good. I'm not saying this to impress you. What I'm saying is that I was open when I went to my very first meeting, and I was real with myself. I remember saying to myself, oh, that was only 20 years old, I was, remember thinking, I mean, nothing has changed for the past, because I started really working when I was 13 years old. As nothing has changed for the past seven years I've been working. Would anything change over the next seven years if you keep on doing the job thing? The answer was no. Ask yourself something. So, however time you've been working, 5, 10, 20, 30 years, has your life changed for the better? And where is it headed? Well, most people would say no or it got worse. Because we know the inflation is affecting everybody, including the government. So what we're saying is, look, you've got to do something anyways. That's something you don't get a choice at. If it's not this, it's something else. You gotta do something anyway to avoid Walmart at 65. You got to do something. We just happen to believe that this is the best thing out there and we'll make the case for it. Now in 2005, when I sat down to write the business plan for this company, and it's interesting, I was talking to a young man, a lawyer who owns a building and he's one of our LCs and he has seen his work in his office and you know, his desk is full of papers and we reminded me of me at age, at, at two, in 2005, when I sat down writing the business plan for this company, an office just like that in my home, yes, this company started in my home office. And I started to write for like 37 hours straight. Just writing the blueprint, the business plan for this company. I told people those days, and when I had my business plan, I, I wrote down my top seven hotshot list. 
Now, I knew a lot of people who had my top seven hot shot list. And I told them what I wanted to do. Bring, oh, launch this company, make it a designer. <coughs> Celebrities, global, compete with Gucci and Louis Vuitton, Versace. And now, you gotta understand this. We didn't have a, a Yodesta. We had no office. This is my home office. We have no product. We have nothing. It's just me. And I'm trying to put this vision out to the people I'm talking to. Now, they knew my background, so they knew I'm a pretty serious business person. But you can imagine. Some of them thought, you know, they were nice, they were polite, but some of them thought I was crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, here we are, only nine years later. We are in 81 countries. We are the celebrity design line in Hollywood. We are the elites design line. We are in every major media that they want to talk about us. I'm doing a TV show next week again here, actually, in Toronto. Again, we are 